Milton, who's my boy? Who's my lazy boy? Give me Paul. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, look at you. Milton, sit. Good boy. Look at your mommy. You're pulling a Madeline. <gasps> Good boy. Good boy. Hi, matey. Hi, matey, wetty. Okay, okay. Morning, guys. It is such a beautiful morning out today that I was like, you know what? I am going to shake it outside today. Like, today is just one of those mornings where you want to be outside. So not only am I shaking it outside today, but I am going to walk down on the waterfront in Louisville, Kentucky. We have a really nice uh, waterfront and we have a bridge that actually goes over the Ohio River to Indiana. So I was like, today is not the day to be cooped up in the gym. I want to be outside and I want to shake it outside. So that's what we're going to do today. I am rouletting. Mm. Oh, fruit punch, and I'm okay with this. Even though I've been drawing fruit punch a lot lately, uh, I'm okay with this because now I at least know that there are seven flavors in there. So I got my shipment of three additional flavors. So now my roulette consists of fruit punch, pink lemonade, peach mango, blueberry raspberry, grape, Two thousand years later. Berry and citrus, a new flavor citrus. So like I know that there are at least seven in there. So I'm okay with drawing fruit punch because this was literally random. Don't forget, you can get your very own wax swag at www.watchautumnketo.com slash swag. I have blender bottles. I have bottle openers. I have all sorts of stuff. The link is in the description box below. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. Mm. To making the most out of the rest of the year, because you know it's going to fly by. You know it's going to be here before we know it, so let's make the most out of it. Oh, so good. It appears I've like happened upon the like a craft show like this is what I love about the waterfront like well downtown in general you just never know what's gonna be going on so I don't know how much time I'm gonna spend here but like that's super neat is there a sign that specifically says do not sit on a blanket and so the rabbi was like, wrecked him. I damn near killed him. <laughs> okay guys, I'm finished walking at the waterfront. It was amazing. It's beautiful down here. I could literally stay all day, but I mean, I got things to do. <laughs> That's the whole point. Uh, I have to go to the shop to help my sister with a project. Then I'm going home to meal prep. I went shopping at Meijer yesterday. To be honest, I don't know what I'm having yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna meal plan first, and then I'm gonna meal prep, and I'll take you guys along with me. It's uh, it's 11:47 on a Sunday afternoon. Morning. Well, it is still technically morning, but I mean, it's a screaming O outside. It is. Like, let's be honest. Like, it's sunny and 75. You, know, you guys saw the weather outside, but where are we? Are we outdoors? No. 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 We're indoors. Currently at our salon, usually we're in the back, like, 
trapped in our office, but we're actually up in my working area right now. So like, disregard the mess. Well, regard the mess because that's why we're here. So um, this is my service table, which is awesome and amazing. It is quite expensive, but we had an incident where a client got off of my service table in the wrong area and broke it beyond, we thought, repair. But thanks to Autumn, I'm like, did you not know, know she was a jack of all trades? I mean, can we talk about how handy I am, right? So what had happened was, mm -hmm. was that like the bottom portion of the table like disconnected from the center portion. Completely. The actual freaking anchors and everything like came out of the table because to be honest, it's particle board. It is wood particles wrapped around with some upholstery and cushioning, right? So when that stress broke the anchors, we were like, oh my God, happen, there's nothing hard. else to screw it into. What are we gonna do? So we got some wood, we got some anchors and we was like, you know what? We can fashion a piece of wood to cover the area that was broken, we can just screw the hinge into that piece of wood that we fashioned to the broken part. So here we go, lying on the floor, using power tools on a Sunday, when we supposed to be outside hanging out, but like, that's what you gotta do to run a business, cost man. Cost of doing business. And now like, I really understand what that means, like the cost. It's not just money, it's your time too, man. But now I'm so excited to be able to go home and eat and do meal prep. Football. Oh, and watch football. Ah. Hey guys, I am home. I am gonna eat this awesome breakfast before I get started working. I have bacon, eggs, sausage, and some halloumi. Like, oh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I'll get to meal planning and meal prep. Okay guys, in continuing with the football theme for the day, I decided to call an audible, and I think I have done something I've never done before, but I've developed an entirely no cook meal prep today. Like, you didn't see me prepping anything because like there's nothing to heat up. Like, everything is a symbol at time of cooking, and I'm very excited about that. Let's take a look. So first, I'm gonna have, I get three hot dogs, you guys, and I am so excited. But what's even more exciting is that I get to wrap them up in these egg thins and put some cheese on them, what? And use some yellow mustard. I mean, these, I had one a couple of meal preps ago just because I needed to fit it in my macros, but I knew that I wanted hot dogs and egg thins to be a part of my main meal. Plus, I need to eat these because they do expire soon, so. This is gonna be a great way to use these. And then next, I was really in the mood for some tuna. So all I'm gonna do is put this in a bowl, mix it with some mayo, mustard, and oh, we got that sugar-free sweet relish. And I am going to enjoy that as well. For my sweet treat this week, I was gonna make my fat bombs, but I was like, I don't wanna cook. I don't even wanna melt things together, so, Keto bars to the rescue. I got a box of these from KetoCon, so I am gonna be able to have the chocolate peanut butter flavor this week. I'm very excited to let you guys know what I think about that. I'm also even more excited for my Bulletproof coffee because I get to bring the heavy cream back. So we have coffee, we have this chocolate almond milk, heavy cream. I'm using stevia this week. This is caramel flavored stevia. I got my collagen. I mean, it's gonna be a mixture of flavors here. I have my chocolate collagen. And then for a fat source, I'm gonna use this Lee's Ghee, this brown butter flavor. I got this off of switchgrocery.com. Switch Grocery is a website that brings small businesses from Canada uh, to the United States. They just launched in the United States about a couple of months ago. So I am very excited to have that Lee's Ghee. And then for my desserts, I got Jello. I got Zevia. Like overall, this is around like 1,750 calories. I'm also excited because Sunday Night Football is about to start, and I have set out my enlightened ice cream. This is glazed donut, so I'm very excited to try that. I can't wait to let you guys know how it is. Be sure to watch my What I Eat Wednesday video to see how this is, as well as like what I end up doing with all of the stuff because that's when I'm gonna be doing most of the work is when it's actually time to eat this. So overall, today was a great day. I got a lot of stuff done. I didn't have to cook anything, which was awesome. And I have a really awesome meal prep lined up this week. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon, at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.